Hello my friends, my name is Artur Rey and I am an Estonian soldier. It was really difficult for me. Did you know the Russians also have Sivs weapon systems? Anti-missile weapon systems, anti-aerial ship protection systems that shoot over 150 rounds per second. <laughs> Whoa. I didn't know that until I saw a clip of a video. I thought only US has these systems. Now Russians also have these systems. Me as an Estonian soldier, should I be afraid? I guess not because I'm an infantryman and I, I would never see those ships unless we're taking them over. But still it blew my mind that Russians have the capability to build such weapons. Today we're going to find out are these Russian sieves more powerful than the US sieves? Do they fire at a quicker rate? What can they shoot down? But before we go, as always, we have patrons on this channel, keeping this channel afloat, helping me the Put up videos. We have Michael Zubas, Mr. Zubas, thank you very much for becoming a Patreon. We have Shosh Shreve, Shosh Shreve, Shh, a lot of shh, yeah, thank you Shosh. Finally we have Curtis Reynolds, thank you Mr. Reynolds for becoming a Patreon. If you want to support the channel also and make sure I'll keep popping out these videos for you, the link is in the description below and become a Patreon. Let's see about these crazy Russian miniguns on the ships. Russian military mysterious weapon can beat of US military insane Russian gun firing off 10,000 rounds per minute sounds like a damn a 10 warthog oh per minute well does it really matter 10,000 rounds per minute how much is that per second 10,000 divided by 60 and that is 167 rounds per second my friends that definitely compares to the American civs That ain't a that's a movie clip, right? The United States Navy yeah. has some impressive weaponry in their navy, but they aren't the only ones dressed to impress. The Russian Navy has a few nasty tricks up their sleeves when it comes to naval combat. One of the most lethal weapons in their navy's arsenal is the Kashtan CIWS combat module. Kashtan? Russia well, let's just call it the Russian series. It makes it easier for us. Aircraft carrier, the Admiral Kuznetsov, and their Kirov-class battle cruisers are all armed with Kashtan CIWS weapon systems. These advanced combat modules are able to fire off over 10,000 rounds per minute as approaching targets. Whoa! The sound is... The Admiral... The sound is more aggressive and it's not... It's like... The more rounds you fire per second, the more it sounds like an explosion and less than like a minigun. And this one sounds more like an explosion. American civs fire up to 4,500 rounds per minute. And these fire up to 10,000 rounds per minute, which makes them two times faster, over two times faster. That's why it sounds more like an explosion and not like a minigun, because so many bullets are coming out of its barrels in one second. Kuznetsov may be an old carrier, but it does have eight Kashtan CIWS modules installed on board for protection. Talking about this thing only does so much. But, seeing it in action will do it justice. Check out this video of the Kashtan CIWS on the high seas and witness its destructive firepower. I wanna see the destructive firepower. Show me some. Whoa, do you see the fireball? Damn, this is... It looks more aggressive than Zeus. This is a Russian Zeus, yeah, but it... It feels more powerful a little bit. Ooh, baby! What do you get when you combine the hard-hitting close and punch of the AK-630 millimeters cannon with the long range and agility of a guided missile and then multiply it by two? The mother of all CIWS systems, the Kashtan is one large and destructive beast. Look how big this is. American series looks looks much smaller and they're more, I don't know, maneuverable and more. I can't say what they're more. Maybe this is better actually. If you're on a ship, you need a lot of firepower and this gives you more firepower. Maybe this is better. Hmm. 
If this is Russian, the only thing I would want to do to it is hit it a few times with my anti-tank weapon to make sure it doesn't work ever again. Yeah, when they taught us in Estonian military, they really couldn't say we're getting ready for war, we're getting ready to protect ourselves against who? We don't have an official enemy, we're part of NATO, but we all know who the official enemy is. Can't really say it though in the military, because that you just can't really do that. Yeah, I can do on my channel whatever I want. It's Russia, of course, and this is a Russian weapon, so I'm watching uh, enemy's weapons right now. I gotta be very careful. Gotta memorize it very carefully where to hit it best, so it would be disabled with the first shot. It packs a pair of 30 mm cannons and features no less than eight short-range radio-guided 9M311 surface-to-air missiles in a hulking, swiveling turret. As many as eight turrets, all of which feature their own scanning and tracking radar systems, as well as electro-optical and infrared sensors, can be tied to a central fire. Okay, so this system is not only a minigun and a radar, it's also missiles, guided missiles, it's everything to protect the ship. Welcome back to the Stonian Soldier Hat competition. So far we have only had one competition and California was the state of the day, but everything is empty behind me. Let's add some states, my friends. First of all, we have William Massey adding the state of Illinois to the board. Way to go, William. You're the first one for Illinois. Second of all, we have David Larkin. And David, you're also a general in the Stolen Soldier Discord server, so you're like double supporting the channel, man. And also, you got two hats, so you're truly double supporting. Stubble or nothing, respect my man. Two points go to Arizona. Thirdly, we have Nicholas Hobbs ordering a hat from Canada, not the US. We have UK, and now we have one of its former colonies, Canada. I mean, both of these countries still have the queen of the, of, on their money, so that connects them, I guess. Now we have Joshua Ward adding the state of Virginia to the board. Everyone who ordered now will add a new state, because everybody wants to be first for your states, right? I understand this. And we have a lot of states to be added, so if you don't see your state on the board, just go and get the hat, and I'll put the state on your name. Joshua Ward, Virginia. There are a lot of orders, and I don't, I don't want this to happen like the last time, so I had to mass add everybody. I want to read every last name this time. This is why this, comp this part of the video will be longer, so if you don't want to watch it, you can just skip it, but I will... We'll read every order. We have Adam Peterson from Texas. Here the winner of the Estonian YouTuber Cup competition. Well, now it is only being added, so situation is different. California and Arizona are in the lead with two points, and Texas has one. So, I mean, Texans, you can try to win if you want, but I think other states will not let you again. We have Benjamin Ingvaldsen. Sounds like an American. No, it does not. Maybe Benjamin, but not the Ingvaldsen part about the name. It is in Norway, not in America. I, I noticed that Estonian soldier hat has, from the get-go, more countries than, than the Estonian YouTuber Cup had. We had a lot of states and then countries came, but now we have a lot of countries also. The third country already with the second video, Norway. Skull, my Norwegian friends. We have Christopher Durgin from Iowa. Iowa was the very first state to be added, so Christopher, you added the, you are the very second person for this competition. You get a point for Iowa. Nice. Since Arizona and Iowa both got two points in this video, there will not be a state of the day today, maybe in the next video. A state needs to dominate the competition to get the state of the day fact. So today we have a tie between Arizona and Iowa, maybe next time. Get the hats, represent your state on the Hall of Fame. Back to the video. Control system, which can be further integrated into a ship's overall combat system, as is the case with Russia's only aircraft carrier, the Admiral Kuznetsov. Such a system amounts to an ability to put so many rounds and so many missiles in the air in rapid succession that it would be next to impossible for something hostile trying to make its way toward the ship to survive. Literally death by ridiculously overwhelming firepower. Cashton is, really the kitchen sink, and then some method to protecting, the innermost realm of a surface combatant's defensive perimeter. 
Its missiles can be used to initially engage hostile targets, while the cannons are there for any surviving missiles, or aircraft that leak through. The system is, so redundant that it actually features a lower missile magazine, with up to 32 additional 9M311s that can be automatically loaded, onto the Kashtan's launching arm should the first eight missiles, usually fired in salvos of two like the RM, not be enough. Also, so yeah, it fires minigun, it fires missiles, everything to make sure nothing uh, that can't fly can advance the ship. A lot of firepower truly, but if you have an aircraft carrier which is so expensive, I mean, I haven't made a video about Russian aircraft carriers, but I'm sure they're very expensive. They couldn't be compared to the US carriers, but still, a lot of money in there, so you better protect it as well as you can. Better to be over-weaponized than under-weaponized, right? The thing we're not in Estonia is over-weaponized. We're definitely under-weaponized. And you Americans are definitely over-weaponized, so maybe we can balance this game a little bit. You send your weapons to us, and we just accept them humbly. My friends, I wanted to take this moment and thank the admins and mods of, of Estonian Soldier Discord server. We recently hit 3,000 members in that server, which makes it a very big server. And that is thanks to you, and thanks to the admin, and thanks to the mods. Jipex, meaning Nathan, is the admin. Thank you, Nathan, for doing such a wonderful job. I, as a YouTuber, haven't been stressing about that server, which is the goal. I make videos I don't, you know, do with the server. Also, thank you, Nico, the head moderator, for doing such an amazing job. Again, everything seems to work properly. And also, we have some other mods that I want to thank. The names are a bit funny, so get giggly. Sodium Detector, thank you very much for helping in the Sonian Surger Discord server. Von Braun, also, as a mod, thank you. The Sentish, maybe I'm pronouncing them wrong, but I don't know how to pronounce them. Well, you know who you are, and I think others also know who you are. Thank you. Lap, thank you. Courier and Chance, thank you to all of the mods who have contributed to the server and also everybody, the generals, the sergeants, the soldiers, we have over 40 generals now and we're going to make a call actually right after I finish editing this video we, we are calling weekly in a general chat in discourse if you want to do that just join the channel and become a general. The family is growing, there's a lot of you already and I thank you from the bottom of my heart. You support the channel. There's a new channel in the Discord called Hat Pictures. A stone and soldier hat, of course. And there's only one picture so far. There's already many hats going out to you guys and only first Rolls Royce has posted a picture. Everybody loved it. It's a cool picture with a lizard. Oh damn! Look at that lizard. Well, Mr. Rolls Royce, well, nice of you to post the first picture. Everybody, take a picture with your stone and soldier hat and post it in the Stone and Soldier Discord Hatpix channel. I will review them all. Since there is an electro-optical and infrared sighting system also embedded into the launcher, the guns can engage surface targets via a gunner sitting safely inside the ship's hull. Ay ay ay! At the Kashtan's fire control console, the Kashtan is really one hell of a CIWS package, albeit it has a much larger footprint than any of the Western plug-and-play close and weapon systems. It seems that the US may have missed the opportunity to build their own super CIWS, maybe one featuring the goalkeeper's big Asco 8 Avenger cannon, and an 11-round pack of fire and forget rim 116 rolling airframe missiles, all tied into a modular phalanx fire control unit. Wishful thinking aside, the Kashtan's heavy hitting, long range, redundant punch takes the cake for the world's most deadly CIWS. The most Rush deadly in the world? Well, hey, alright, we're viewing the most deadly service in the world. And this truly looks a little bit more scary than the American one. American one looked neat and clean and these look rigged and big and bulky. I'm sure it has its flaws and we, we're not gonna find out about its flaws in this video because this video seems to love these things. I'll find out about them and I'll let you know. I mean hell, maybe it's a lack of ammunition, who knows. Imagine you Americans in Texas or wherever you are driving around with your Ford F-150s having this in the back of your F-150. Hey, I have a right to carry my gun, this is my gun. Can't do anything. In Texas, I guess, you can carry openly now, yes? So you don't have to hide it, you don't have to put your sieves in your holster, you can just put it under F-150 and grooves around in the town. Everybody pulls out their clock, you have an automated response already. An automated sieve that shoots back. 
Russian media is reporting that the long-awaited upgrade of the Kashtan chestnut. Look at them shells coming out. The casings. How many of them? If you would be standing below there and they would fall in your head, you'd be knocked out, I think. Close-in weapon system, CIWS, was testing in 2018. Trials will start on a land range before moving to the sea aboard one of Russia's Project 1241 Malnitia missile corvettes in the Black Sea. The country's new Project 22800 Karakurt corvettes will be the first vessels to receive the system operationally once testing is complete. Panzer ME appears to be something of a mix between the potent Panzer S-1 land mobile self-propelled anti-aircraft artillery gun system and existing Kashtan CIWS installations found on many Russian-built naval vessels dating back to the Cold War. It uses a modified version of the Panzer's 1RS2-1E phased array radar system, as well as an electro-optical infrared targeting and identification system mounted above the radar. This seems obviously like one of the most modern outputs of the Russian military that is actively used. We can talk about the Armata tank, right? But everybody's, oh, it's a good tank, it's better than Germans or M1 Abrams of the Americans, but this tank does not exist, I'm telling you. Russians may produce them one, two, or ten, but if you want your tank to be efficient, you need hundreds of them. Like the M1s, there are hundreds. And if you can only produce ten, and even those ten have problems, right? We have seen in Russia, in the parade, a few of those tanks couldn't even move because the, there was some failures. It's still in the testing phase, and it's so damn expensive that they couldn't really complete it at the right time. And they can't mass produce them. They don't have the materials for it. This tank exists, the Armata. It's very powerful if you could mass produce them, but you can't. In the case of Russia, they can't. This seems like they could really do this um, Russian civ system, so I would say, yeah, this is one of the most modern uh, things they could, I guess, mass produce, so it's very effective. I have no doubts that Russia could uh, produce them as much as needed, because it's not that complicated as a tank. There is definitely a reason to be afraid of this system, the Russian civ system. Seems good. If you want to support the channel, become a patron or become a member of this channel so you can support me putting up these videos for you. I'll try to make three videos for you Monday, Wednesday and Friday. As a member, you'll get early access to all of my videos on YouTube or in Discord. And as always, my friends, until my next video, stay cool and bye-bye.